Hey, it's me, Jack Keck here, and today I'm here to teach you how to extract assets from Dragon Ball Legends, such as animations, models, and textures. Let's begin. However, first things first, though. There is a written version of this tutorial in the description, in case that's more your speed. This video is more so a video version of that tutorial, because I know people have a better time following videos. So now, let's go over the requirements. You're going to need a decent computer with at least 20 gigabytes free. Now, the assets are 4 gigabytes, but you're going to be downloading and extracting them multiple times, so it will add up. You're going to need BlueStacks, which is an Android emulator for PC. And then, you're going to need Asset Studio, which you can see right here. When we go through this step by step, you're going to see why we need all of these things. So now, first of all, let's download Dragon Ball Legends through BlueStacks. I have my blue stacks right here and as you can see the, this is the Google Play Store so open that up type in Dragon Ball Legends pretty simple if you've ever used any smartphone ever now I already have it installed but it requires an update and if you want to get new assets you are going to have to update it so let's download that So now let's get to downloading Asset Studio. It should be pretty simple, however there is one thing which needs to be explained. They all have a requirement for something called Net, so Net6, Net5, Net472. All we need to do is Google the respective one of the one you're going to download. Download it, uh, install it, it may already be pre-installed. Just follow instructions and then download your Asset Studio, so we're downloading Net6. If it doesn't work, then choose a different download and download those requirements respectively. So anyway now, let's get to back to Dragon Ball Legends. So it should be the same as when I did it last time. Okay. So you're going to have an opportunity to either force it or it's going to ask you, what do you want to download all? That's where you're going to get your assets from. So... The game is booting up. Grant storage. And it's going to ask you all this stuff about all oh, dual capture, etc., etc. It's going to get to the point where you're going to be able to download. So let's see now. So this is actually a fresh install. I decided to do that off screen. So look at all this. Accept. Start a new game. See, look, this is the capture thing I was talking about. Let's solve that quickly. And now it's gonna be connecting. This might take a while. So. So now that the download is complete, you're going to want to download ES File Explorer, or at the time, at the time of making this video, it's called ES Super File. So real quick, let's just go to the Google Play Store, right? E S super just type that in it's it's this one e super and you might get an ad or something click out of those uh, oh god yeah and you're going to want to look for storage emulate zero android data com that band nine and code dragon ball legends so let's go to home internal storage android Data. You can see the Dragon Ball Legends logo here. So com dot Bandai Namco Dragon Ball Legends. And then files. You're going to want to long press streaming asset bundle right here. And then go down to more. Press compress. Right? And for compressed level, go to best. Now press OK. And actually, I recommend here to wait for this number to pop up. So, see, okay, there you go, 5 gigabytes. So you know 100% you did everything correct. You should have a 5 gigabyte or more file 
if you don't have a five gigabyte file and it's in the megabytes, then you're going to have to redo the process, starting with downloading from Dragon Ball Legends. But as you can see here, five gigabytes, so wait for it to compress and I'll move forward when it's done with it. So now that it's done compressing, you should see it right here. And the next thing you're going to have to do is go to Blue Sacks Home, press on this thing, go to Media Manager. This isn't the Media Manager, it's just loading. There we go. So you're going to you're going to start off at the recently added tab. So just go to explore and then go to Android data. Look for Dragon Ball Legends folder files and then scroll down and long press on this. Click on export to Windows. And that's how you're going to get it to be visible on your computer. So when it's done, you'll see this streaming asset bundles. That's it. Simply press save. And it should be where you decide to save it to. So now simply extract it, extract to. So streaming asset bundles. I might already have one, so I'm going to put that name and it'll extract using your extractor of choice. So now finally we can use Asset Studio. So let's open that up. And in Asset Studio, we're going to go through File, Extract Folder, and select our Streaming Assets Bundle. So let's see. Streaming Assets Bundle 2345, right there. So select Folder. Select the Save Folder. So make a new folder. DBL Assets 2. That's what all this stuff is going to save. So now it's going to decompress all of this stuff and you're going to have to wait. Once that's done, click on the file button again, click load folder and select the folder with your files. Now, once all of that is done, you should see something like this. This means you are finally ready to extract assets from Dragon Ball Legends. Now, Asset Studio makes it pretty easy, but I will go over the process of getting let's say mesh and animations. So first of all, if you're gonna find anything, use filter type. So right now I'm gonna sort it by mesh. And let's say, let's find kale. So let's type in kale. And there's a preview over here. So let's look through the kales. Let's say I wanted her body right here. So you're gonna right click, go to scene hierarchy, this tree right here, gonna click, make sure all these are selected, and go, go up to model, and either click export selected objects split or export selected objects merge. I prefer se export selected objects merge. So let's export that somewhere. Uh, right here, new folder, save, and look at this the folder will automatically open up for you with your textures and model. Now, animations. Now, let's say you want to Kale's animations. So, you're going to have to look for the body mesh specifically. It can't be a face or shape. It has to be body. Go to scene hierarchy. Select these. And then now, you're going to have to find your respective animation. So, Instead of sorting by mesh, now you're going to have to sort by animation clip. And let's select one. So, uh, right here. So I'll select just, I'll select multiple of these. And now, let's go to model again. And now, these two buttons are the ones that are going to export the animations. I strongly suggest animation merge. So, let's export the merged one. Let's make a new folder here, animation, and click save. Your animations should be exported. So let's check it in Blender. So as you can see, once I loaded the FBX in Blender, the model 
came with the animation. You can see this is animated. So that's all there is to it. You can also you you can also extract textures, which should be pretty straightforward, and data mine lots of stuff in Dragon Ball Legends using this tutorial. Okay, so I decided last second, since people are probably going to want to extract card art, that I should go over how to do that, even though it is quite simple. So, in Asset Studio, so first of all, search your character, I want shallot, and then sort by filter type, sprite, and texture 2D. And then, you'll see a list. So scroll down, and you'll see your sprites, your assets, your card art, whatever. So select all the stuff you want. So I'll select all of these at once. Then right click, export selected assets, put it in a folder you'll be able to find. Mm, it'll open up. So sprite folder will have these and texture 2D will have these. So it's that easy, but I thought I should show it. So anyways, this has been Jack Keck. I hope you are able to find what you want from Dragon Ball Legends. Goodbye.